The SR60 makes it easy to get a precise mark out on a remote transmitter or SOND. And in this segment, we'll show you how to pinpoint a SOND's position quickly and accurately. The SOND will be locating as part of a Sea Snake video pipe inspection system. The SOND is located inside the spring, right behind the camera head, and operates at 512 Hz. We've put the camera into a drain line that tees into another line after about 8 feet. We've pushed the camera past the tee and positioned it directly under a 90 degree cleanout. We've removed the cleanout cover and the camera is visible in the bottom of the pipe. The camera is in position, so we'll activate its transmitter. If 512 Hz sound mode is not available by pressing the frequency key, you can enable it in the main menu. See the Getting Started segment of this video for instructions on how to do that. Additional sound frequencies are also available, and your operator's manual contains instructions on how to enable them. Locating a sound with the SR60 can be boiled down to three basic steps. Localize its position, map its location, and verify your result. We'll localize the sound by using the signal strength reading to locate its general area. We'll just extend the receiver and sweep it slowly in an arc. Keep an eye on the signal reading in the upper left corner of the display. When the number is highest, the receiver's mast will be pointed toward the sound. We know the sound's general direction, so we'll lower the receiver and start walking toward it. As we approach the sound, icons will appear inside the active view area. We'll use these icons to map out the sound's position. Let's take a look at how we'll do that. The icons represent the position of specific locate points that are based on the shape of the transmitter's signal. There are two types of locate points. The first are called poles. There are two of them, and you'll find one pole at each end of the SON's antenna. The other type of locate point is called the equator. The equator is a plane or imaginary line that passes through the center of the SON's antenna and stretches out on both sides until the signal is so weak that the receiver can no longer see it. When the SON's antenna is lying horizontally inside the pipe, and the ground above is also flat, the equator will be located about halfway between the poles. If you draw a line between the poles, you'll find the SON where that line and the equator intersect. The SR60's display contains icons that represent the position of the poles in the equator. To map out the SON's position, we'll locate and mark the two poles, and then we'll locate the equator between them. To make it easier to see what we're doing, we've pre-marked the position of the two poles and the equator. When you get close to the sond, the receiver will display the location of the closest pole. We'll simply move the receiver until the pole icon is centered on the crosshair, 